Good evening everyone. In this video, let us talk about GPS timing, user position and satellite navigation. Before that, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe and click the bell icon for latest updates. Now let's get started. Let us talk about GPS timing first. GPS time is nothing but the time scale used by the GPS satellites where the ground stations help help in controlling and synchronizing them. You know what are ground stations? They are nothing but master control stations and monitoring stations as you all read in the previous videos. Now these ground stations have receivers which follow a different time and the satellites, GPS satellites use atomic standard. So in a way to, to synchronize these both, the ground state, sorry. To synchronize the receiver and the satellites, the ground station controls and synchronizes the time. Coming to the third point, each GPS satellite has an integral atomic clock, as I already told you in the first point, integral atomic clock, which is synchronized, synchronized periodically to the ground-based master control clock ground-based master clock. This is maintained by UNSO. Please note down what UNSO stands for. United State, United Nations, sorry it is, USNO. I'm so sorry. This is USNO. USNO stands for United States Naval Observatory. So this US, USNO maintains synchronization, I wrote it in short form, of the entire GPS system to international standards. GPS timing is a very small topic. These are all the points. GPS time is the time scale used by the GPS satellites. The ground stations help in controlling and synchronize GPS time. Each GPS satellite has an integral atomic clock which is synchronized periodically to the ground mast ground based master clock maintained by the United States Naval observatory. So the USNO maintains synchronization of the entire GPS system to international standards. And for your knowledge, GPS time is 18 seconds ahead of UTC. It is nothing but universal time or you can also call it as coordinated universal time. 